Quiz time. Essential phrasal verbs with make. Three verbs to study. Make up means to create a story or something similar. Make out means to understand something. Make up for means to make a bad situation better or to compensate. Number one. That's right, it's could you make out what was written on the board from the back of the room? To make out means to understand, but often in the case of seeing or hearing. Here, it's from a distance. Number two. That's right, it's the story was completely made up. None of it was true. To make up means to create or invent something, often from imagination. Here, it's a story. Number three. That's right, it's he bought her flowers to make up for the argument they had. To make up for means to provide something good to make something better. In this case, it's buying flowers to compensate for an argument. Number four. That's right, it's we need to make up a team name by tomorrow. To make up means create from the imagination. In this case, it's a team name. Number five. That's right, it's this vacation is supposed to make up for all the weekends I worked through. To make up for means to compensate. The vacation time compensates for the work time. Number six. That's right, it's from this distance, I can barely make out the sign. To make out means to understand, but often from hearing or seeing. In this case, it's difficult to read the sign from a distance. Number seven. That's right, it's I'll need to work extra hours this week to make up for the time I missed. In this case, the extra hours worked compensates for the time this person missed. Apps to learn languages are really great to improve. But as someone who learned three languages, I can say that the best way is to have a conversation. But how can you practice English if you don't live in an English-speaking country? The answer is teacher marketplaces. Imagine having a real, exciting conversation with a native English speaker and professional teacher anytime, anywhere. By studying through video call with a real person, you have an opportunity to practice and feel confident speaking English. In the description, I included discounts for you to start your English journey on italki or Preply. Take your first lesson today 
and then come back and let me know about your progress. Number 8. That's right, it's she loves to make up stories to tell her children at bedtime. We can use the verb to make up when we create stories from imagination. Number 9. That's right, it's I couldn't make out the details of the painting from where I stood. The details from a distance are difficult to see, so we can use the verb to make out. Number 10. That's right, it's buying chocolates for her was the perfect way to make up for the argument they had. Buying chocolates makes someone feel better, and it makes the situation better. It compensates for the bad feelings. Number 11. That's right, it's in the dim light, it was hard to make out who was approaching. We can't understand who the person is when the light is low. We can't see them. Number 12. That's right, it's You'll have to make up a good excuse for being late. Excuses are often generated from our imagination, just like creative stories, so we can use to make up. Number 13. That's right, it's to make up for lost time, the team worked through the weekend. The team worked on the weekend to compensate for the time that was lost. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, consider joining the channel and becoming an English fan or English explorer. Remember, quiz questions are in the community section. Please like, share, and subscribe, and see you in the next lesson.